Now, back in October, this was the kind of China's corn stocks, just a little bit of review. And then that switched to this in November. USDA raising Chinese corn stocks by 149 million metric tons. I think they overdid it by about 49 million metric tons based on conversations we're having with people on the ground there in China. But it is what it is. Notice they're still declining. Now, the corn that's left, we believe, is about 80 to 85 million metric tons after they auctioned off better than 100 million metric tons from April and October of this year. What's left is primarily 2015 corn, which was a wet year. We believe it went in storage wet. The condition is subpar. Price of cash corn in China is plus or minus around $7 a bushel. The bulk of the reserve corn averaged, it varied quite a bit, but it was plus or minus around $6 a bushel, so about a dollar less than the cash market. Four billion bushels went onto the market and did not adversely affect the cash market. If we look at a potential trade deal with China, uh, all the focus primarily has been on soybeans. But right now, with that low quality corn in the reserve, bringing a dollar less than what the cash market is, but more, it costs more than what U.S. corn freighted into China would be. So it's a lot of feed buyers and maybe some ethanol producers with their rapidly growing ethanol industry licking their chops at the possibility of maybe getting some U.S. corn. The Chinese government could make money by buying U.S. corn at the Gulf Bob, freighting it over to China, putting it in the reserve and blending it with that lower quality corn and selling it at auction. So there's been a lot of chatter from our contacts in, in China. What if buyers here were to buy 10 or 12 million metric ton of corn? What would happen to the market? So I paint that scenario into a balance sheet here in a little bit and I'll show you. Now, global stocks, this is the October USDA showing world stocks at a 53-day supply and the world minus the United States and China at a, a tight 38-day supply. Throw in the adjustment USDA made, Chinese stocks go to 100-day supply. And again, I say that that's about 30 days too high. And world stocks minus US and China go up one day to 39-day supply. That's still pretty snug and pretty close to where we were uh, six, seven years ago when we had record high prices.